brothers and sisters, generals, family, man. Those are just men, just trying to live a great life in this here so-called matrix that those of us that are aware of it, you know, of course, after we went through the layers of our own selves, deep within, as we always speak on, my my like-minded reaches and teachers out there, brother or sister, family member, I salute you because in these times, it can be very, very challenging. But we stay with it, don't we? Because that's what generals do. And uh, again, like I always say, if we are alive and breathing, we are back to conquer another day, another year, another decade. Be a force to be reckoned with and salute to the current subscribers, new subscribers, anybody that view. I salute you that stand with it in this life because we are strong. You know, you got to speak words of encouragement to ourselves by any means necessary. Learn as long as it what don't hurt ourselves or hurt no one else. Real talk. So that's that's what we got to do. You know, that's what we got to do. You know, focus on things to keep us strong and keep our family strong and those in our circle that we that we care about, you know, and we know who the ones we care about and they care about us, whether they far or near. We know in our spirit. Just stay at it, you know, and it's wonderful. And um, I thank thy ancestors. I honor thy ancestors who fought hard to get many of us in that great divine space that so many of us are in. It's wonderful. So be thankful. Like I say, set that tone every morning. Wake up and be thankful. That great divine has put life in us and a chance to do to do better. You know, we don't we don't think about the day before. If it's a little small minor mistake, you know, we push on to do better. And that's what we do. We stay with it, you know. And righteous results real will come. We keep maintaining and studying on that righteous ripple effect. And as I say, uh, as you can see on my banner here, I've, I, I spoke on I volunteer at my son's school. And uh, before I get into that, salute to my son, Lord Lamont. And I actually saw him yesterday on my way home from uh, volunteering at my son Ethan's school. And my goddaughter, Chloe. And um, as you can see on my banner, that's my son's school. And uh, we're going to get into it, brothers and sisters. Divine integrity. You know, we're we going to go deeper into integrity today because some individuals, not all, some individuals throw that word around. And I don't care if you're high status, low status. We're going to get into divine integrity because that's what that great divine God, that powerful, positive force. It's neither he or she. It's a powerful being that none of us can see only feel but if we are in tune with that divine core deep within we might see that power, that powerful force but we have to be in a righteous integrity space to see it but it comes through a feeling comes through our spirit as i said synchronicities dreams you know have to be in that righteous space to see things divine things that's unexplainable you know divine is integrity integrity is divine the divine, the great divine, mother nature in the universe is the epitome of integrity. So I don't give a damn who you are, high status, low status. If you don't have integrity, you don't have God. You know, it's like you can't, you can't have, you can't be led by that God spirit within with no integrity. It's utterly impossible. So as I said on my thumbnail here, it's my sons and my goddaughters school and it's volunteering and this will be part 14 you know let's go out throughout my channel you know i've been doing this for the last three years and uh just volunteered yesterday and um you know working and stuff like that and trying to keep my body straight and making sure my son both my sons my son ethan and my son lord lamont salute trying to keep them on point my god children you know my god children's mom and Keep oneself intact because those of us, as I say, those of us that are reachers and teachers, we also like to be encouraged because it keeps us fired up. Man, encourage within man. You tell me what can what can mess with us on the outside. But anyway, I volunteered yesterday at my son's school and I only do one day a week. I'm trying to get more days in there. But, you know, as I said, I do work and I have to get rest and meditation and, you know, keep oneself centered because, you know, that's why I have stuff like this on my banner. You know, my son's school on the thumbnail. And this is a space, space city, as it's called. It's called the space city on my banner here. 
And you know, as I do in one's mind, mind, body, and soul, we have to go above and beyond the so-called matrix. That Again, that's why you see me have things over the city, sometimes in the sky, above. It's always a depiction of something above on the banner I'll show most of the time. Most of the time, just a video. Sometimes it'd be just a photo or a picture or something. But um, I like doing these because... This is part of my one's meditation, self-therapy. If you're able to do it, self-therapy is a wonderful thing. We develop it within ourselves as brother and sister and pass it on to our generation. You know, like my sons and my goddaughters, my biological children and my godchildren. And, you know, all children are our children because they are innocent, you know. And um, I, like I said, I volunteer one day a week. I would love to get more in there. But at least at least one day, you know, and it's, it can be very challenging at these schools. Again, so you have your good days, your smooth days, you have your challenging days because you got to remember, folks, we're dealing with all types of different personalities. You got the faculty members and you have the children, but we focus on the children. And uh, I want to give a salute to uh, Ali Sadi because he was uh, he had a, he has a special called uh, he was a president of the PTA parent teacher conference or parent teacher association whatever he was a uh, uh the, the president of that so and I, and I love that special i even commented on it and he reached out he uh he put a love on it so salute to ali sadi you know anybody else that volunteers in school salute because it can be challenging but it's you experience and you learn a lot of things when you get involved it's like wow you know just things that we don't know when we're on the outside but when we get on the inside and see for ourselves what's going on man and if you are empathic brother or sister i'm talking about a true empathic you know general you know you will care and you'll want to help and want to get involved and i was very proud of my son ethan uh they give points when they're being good so it's like dad i got 125 points he was being good but it was you know it was a couple of the other students maybe a few of them that were kind of misbehaving you know, because remember, this is nine, 10 year olds. They're in fourth grade. So that is a very sometimes troubling and I would have to say challenging time frame. You know, cause my, my son has his ups and downs as well as my goddaughters. You know, so it was a few students that may had or yesterday when I volunteered, uh, which was Wednesday, uh, you know, had a few behavioral problems. And, you know, as I, I do, as I always do, I try to console them, talk to them. Discipline them too, because you got to show a little tough discipline too to these children. So, but I'm starting to know all their names and um, really getting involved. That's why I say I want to get in more time, more days, but I will still stick to my one day a week. And sometimes I call up there just to kind of check on my son. You know, just got to stay involved. You know, the advice I like to give parents, you know, because I know some of us have busy lives, brother or sister, uh, male, female. Younger or older, if you have children, you know, stop in at the school at least once a week. And it is very effect effective, if I say that right. Uh, it's effective. It works because it shows unpredictability that, you know, never. This, this is something I learned. Never be predictable to our children. Be unpredictable, especially when it comes to disciplining them. So showing up at their school once a week is a good good unpredictable thing to do it's unpredictable you know they never know when you're gonna pop up which is good and i uh i salute uh my sons and my goddaughters I, I salute their mom for this sometimes she does that she goes to the parent teacher conferences and everything we're not together but you know when we work through the layers and we finally do mature we'll see that we have to focus on the children because as whitney houston said may she rest in peace and in power it's more than a song children are the future and and depending on our situation, what area of our lives we are in or what situation, we literally hold their future in the palm of our hand. You know, the decisions we make with them and with ourselves, if, you know, if we have a significant other or, you know, in a romantic relationship, either you whether you're with each other or not, it's still an impact either or. So but we try to be a righteous impact, that ripple effect I always talk about starts with that inner core. What is the inner core, brothers and sisters? That family. Even if we're single, keep a family spirit. You know, forget emotions within us. And this is mostly for single males, or maybe, not males, excuse me, single females 
whether mothers or single or if you're a mother or not you know if you haven't hang ups on emotional issues or challenges focus on what makes you emotional if you feel lonely or or, or you know or you just you just feel this things that's making you you know down we got to get to the core of that so don't keep being down you know do things to lift us up you know like i say if i'm feeling some kind of way about something i do something positive for someone else you know i see homeless people out here i give them money i do it even even if i'm not feeling down because it's something it's a vow i made to that great divine you know i always said that great divine blessed or blessed one with i was not necessarily being rich but coming into where we're comfortable enough where we you know bills paid and we have money where we're not struggling i always ask that great divine if he ever put me in a position where i have you know some extra money just put it like that you know if i have it i will you know use it to invest in the family and you know help others if i'm able you know you got to be careful who we invest our time our money our love into got to have that discernment too can't be stupid you know um but yeah i always promised that great divine that i would i would give the best way i could and i i've been doing that and the more we give you know you know i'm talking about in a wise way to someone who's who really needs it and deserving and appreciate it you know when we give like that you know always and forever we'll come back that's facts so as i told my son i always had this magnetic pull uh i always knew i was going to move up to milltown and the first day in milltown i was approached by a homeless person like i said that's not coincidence a great divine I, I didn't know that the journey was beginning, but when I think about it now, and this is probably 10 years ago, I don't 10, 15, 10, 11, I don't know. It's been a while since I've been here, but I never forgot that. And that was a sign of things to come, you know, and I've been giving to homeless person, homeless people ever since, you know, I help when I can, because I too have been homeless. I know what it's like to be homeless. I've been down and out, bottom of the barrel, struggle, man, didn't know where I was going to go or what was coming or where the next money was where i was gonna get income i've been there done that you know walked on highways to work long stretch man been there done that once we know what it's like to struggle and we've been through the woulda coulda shoulda brother or sister we become better we become stronger a lot of us become teachers in our own way and i don't mean always having a platform just a teacher in our own right you know we just giving advice to someone and helping them and they they grow and they change. That's teaching right there. You know, I always say suggest, teach and give advice. You know, never, ever want to come off like one knows everything. But I tell you what, you know, thank that great divine every day, brothers and sisters. If it put the spirit in us to wake up and stretch, meditate and break things down and we know how to control our impulses. Be thankful of that because it's, it's very important. The example I love to give. You want to know why it's important to study our impulses and control our impulses? Just look out onto the world and social media. It's loaded with toxic impulses, you know. So the impulses can literally save our lives. I mean, mentally, physically, as we all say. Say it together, folks, to good old spiritual. Because when you got that inner core, that's when you're centered, man, all day, every day, telling you tell me what can what can stop us. But Going back to divine integrity is what led one to volunteering in school and getting active. Because again, when we've learned from the woulda, coulda, shouldas in the in the past, we'll be on fire in the present, and that righteous present will what will benefit us in the future all day, every day. And when we have the power of anticipation, we can almost, almost see the future. So, and I see good things in my son and his siblings and. You know, I, it's unfortunate, you know, you try to help, you know, young brothers and sisters as much as we can, you know. But sometimes, you know, a lot, like a lot of us reaches and teachers and some of our elders and parents and stuff. When, when, when we finally have gotten our intuition on fire, we can see things and be in, in little behaviors in children. And some we can help and some it I would say seem like we can't help. And it's sad because I, I want to be able to help the young youth, you know, but. Again, we never know what's going on in the home, but we stay at it as righteous generals, right? We stay at it. Help these teachers the best way we can because they go through a lot. Like I said, I see it with my own eyes. It's these kids, they, they uh, man, they cuss. Man, they 
it, it's woo. I don't want to get into it. They can be something else, you know. Like again, my my son Ethan, he has his days too, but he's he's been he he tries, you know. I, I I'll give him a a A plus, a A plus plus for effort. He really tries. And my goddaughter Chloe, she 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 does a lot of reading, very intelligent. And um, that leads me to my other goddaughter, uh, Skylar, um, which is my son Ethan's sister. She gave me um, two books, which is which I thought was very unique. It, it's very unique when when a when a uh, young sister or a young brother give you a, a book for a gift. And um, I'm gonna start having book sessions. I'm gonna call it, and I'm gonna read books that I got just sitting around in my studio that I don't even read because I, I beat up on myself about reading but I do write and I do read summaries and I got a book I call I, what I call it a book it's a composition I write in I, I'm up to 42 pages if I'm not mistaken it's called unlocking the vault and I bring it up every now and then and I read a page today and I do have a summary I want to read because I want to break down divine integrity you know and this for me too folks like I say I, I suggest teach and give advice, but things I say and to others, to brothers and sisters who listen, family, current subscriber, new subscriber, anyone that view, this is for me too now. Because we all have battles, whether big or small, you know. Because being in denial is the worst thing and the most dangerous thing one can do. Again, that's for me too. But uh, yeah, um, salute to my, my goddaughter, Skylar, who's doing very well. She, she's a young mother, has a very beautiful daughter. Um, she, she moved away. She's just doing well. She's working on getting a job and bettering herself. So, um, salute to all my God children and uh, my biological children, uh, biological children. Salute. And um, again, I want to start having book sessions where I read books that I have. So, give me so I can read them. So they don't just don't, won't be collecting dust. Cause I want to get back into reading more. It, I'm starting to see the. It's fundamental. It's fundamental. That's why the word fun and it can be fun to read. You know, it don't always have to be this deep you know this deep thing you know it can be fun it, it can be interesting the things we come across when we do read write stuff like that and it broadens our vocabulary you know and our mind you know mind body and soul see here and feel and keep on working on our psyche brothers and sisters i bring up the psyche problem on every podcast because that is the core of one's being brother or sister younger or older i don't care who we are the psyche is the core you know, it's the center of everything that will happen on the outside of us because it all starts within. What do you always hear me say? The body always follows the mind. So, man, do whatever it takes to strengthen our mind, to make it healthy, intelligent, strong, wise, man. And that great, great divine integrity is wonderful. You know, so and uh, let me see. Oh, excuse me just for a second. Yeah, uh, again, excuse me. I want to have a book session where I read books. And again, I'm going to start off with these books that my, uh, my, my, my goddaughter, Skylar, gave me. And the first one is The Contender. And I think that's the one I'm going to start off with. And it's a book by Robert Lipsight, if I said it right. I brought this up before on a past podcast, probably about a year ago. But it's called The Contender. And um, it shows a brother. It shows Actually, it shows a boxer standing in the corner with boxing gloves on on the cover I, I read maybe one page and it seemed interesting so and i'm gonna talk uh discuss this with my son laura lamont too salute and i want to get back into reading because he reads too and he has read some books As a matter of fact i'll get him to bring up some books he's read he's actually giving me a book too uh and it's wonderful that's what i'm saying it's wonderful man when we get involved in our youth and uh look for the father and son discussion which will be tomorrow and we're going to have another hip hop what ifs. And I think we're going to have another part two of integrity. We're going to dive a little deeper on that. Me, we're going to we're going to discuss that in reading. And of course, we'll have other subjects we'll speak on. And um, he does have a song he's working on called Scams. And uh, and um, hopefully we'll hopefully hopefully we'll be able to get that song uploaded because I want him to get some new music. You know, he needs to get some new music. But. That'll be for tomorrow, so look for that hip hop what ifs, and uh, it'll be a kind of a part two of today of divine integrity because I want to get that in his system and hit, get that energy from him too. So the first book of my book sessions I want to have will be the contender, and the next one will be game. The title of it is game, and 
I think it's by Walter Dean Myers, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if that's wrong. But those are the two books that I want to read. But the first book would be The Contender. And um, uh, probably the next podcast after the hip hop, What Ifs with my son. The next podcast after that, I'll start the booking, the book sessions. It'll be episode one. And I don't know how many episodes it'll be because it's a pretty thick book. It's a little paperback. And I'm just going to read pages from it, you know, and add my own little sidebar uh, comments and stuff. I have my own little things called like, like, a, you know, side notes. Put it like that. It'd be a little side notes as I read the book. So look for that. I'll call it book sessions because I want to get into reading, you know. And the first book will be The Contender. So look for that and more music from myself, L'Oreal Lyrical, and Lord Lamont. L'Oreal Lyrical, rest in peace and in power. That's my cuz, man, who was a force to be reckoned with she knew how to do everything she knew how to get she knew how to get that money legally and she she was an entrepreneur she was a true entrepreneur rest in peace and empower cuz love you forever i will always keep her afloat as well as the rest of my family salute to one's family and uh yeah so look for that the book sessions and i want to get into this summary i got about the divine integrity i am so very important it is because you got some celebs not all now they call themselves having having integrity, you know, or call themselves following that God's spirit. But you can't do it without integrity, baby. I don't care who you are. There is no God without integrity. So let's get into a meditative moment for my leaders and teachers. And I want to stop on my banner here. Again, like I said, I know I kind of spoke on this a little bit ago, but I just love banners like this where it's out in space and above and beyond. It's actually a futuristic banner. You know, it's, it's called the Space City, you know. So, man, it, it's just wonderful when we're seeking and exploring and getting out of our little spaces, you know. Again, folks, set that tone every morning. Stretch our bodies. You know, if you work out, work out. You know, work our mind. Read in the morning. You know, meditate. I'm serious about this. Set that tone every morning. It is vital for our day and every day. Real talk. And in and exhale and inhale. Do breathing exercises and do this on the job always stretch our body every day i was telling uh, a sister this on the job and she was laughing and kiki and i said why are you laughing i'm serious i'm trying to give you some that'll help you in the long run because reason why we it's good to stretch even when if we we don't even really have to do a strenuous workout when we stretch keeps our body strong keeps our bones strong because as many of us know and i have experienced we can get arthritis because, you know, I do a lot of cooking and using my hands. So our fingers kind of get cramped up and, get you know, you get those little arthritis pain. So, and I told her to, you know, massage your hands, wiggle your fingers. That's what I do. And, you know, work your back because it's important for our spine too. I bring that up. Our spine attaches to our nervous system throughout our entire body. So that's why it's good. The things we harbor and how we treat our body, our mind, it makes, especially when we start to get up in levels of awareness or age, that's when it matters. So, and I, I notice I don't have those little aches and pains anymore because right? for one, have a positive mindset. That's, that's the base. You know, the body follows the mind, as I said. So a positive mindset and look to explore, re research, you know, read up on things about the body. Listen to others, brother or sister, male or female. That is that is an expert in the body and the mind and the soul. Not, <coughs> excuse me. Almost caught. And also listen to ourselves. I'm going to choke on some spit. Excuse me. Yeah, but um, and also teach ourselves at the same time. But, you know, if we're not able, you know, if we need to get help, get help. Sometimes I need help, too. You know, I take advice from others. You know, we're in them right circles. We'll know who to get that righteous advice from. So I just want to throw that out there. You know, how we eat is so many things that that plays a part in our growth and our, you know, and maintaining ourselves, you know, eating rest you know what we connect ourselves to what we indulge in again it's for me too so just a little advice i want to throw out there but again this stuff on this banner it's a part of it too what we think about in our meditation i'm always thinking down the road i'm always thinking 10 steps ahead i mean great divine has taught me that again the woulda coulda shoulda syndrome if we're not in that woulda coulda shoulda syndrome we'll begin to become what brother and sister of prevention it's wonderful to be in that space but it takes work and we have to earn it you know we earn our space and it's just 
it's just so rewarding and empowering when we earn our space like my cousin did lawyer lyrical rest in peace and empower all right but again i love banners like this you always see this you know because the great divine is high not low you know a righteous high not low so that's why i sold banners above and beyond so that's what this is a representation of you know check our minds out of this stinking ass rat race all right and, and our body will follow all right let's get into this summary my leaders and teachers godly or divine integrity speaks to our consistency of moral character and divine standards it means to live consistently blameless and upright in regards to our motive motives divine great divine integrity speaks to divine inward conviction and you know conviction is a mother in our heart that leads us to do the righteous or the right thing this applies when people are around us or not man whether around us or not when you because that's when it matters when no one's looking you know and um the divine speaks inward that conviction and this is something i was meditating on yesterday and um when the great divine has a purpose for us or mother nature is pulling on us or we feel some kind of you know universe download and it just bothers us great divine i've noticed and this is just my experience maybe you know just my perspective when we are being when when the great divine has a purpose for us and this could be anybody anybody you know not just me anybody you know it will it will convict us it will antagonize us it will bother us because it, it's if we're like if we know we're doing something we're not supposed to and we try to just go on and try to suppress it it will bother us especially if it knows our heart it will bother us that force will bother us and nag us it would not let us leave it alone so i kind of learned that on over meditating i was thinking about this yesterday and i was meditating because that's why and, and you know we can't look at it as you know if we did something i'm talking about just a human error not nothing really traumatic or really bad and it keep bothering us don't look at it as a traumatic thing as of my son lord lamont salute as we talked about we analyze it why we get certain feelings or why something is convicting us you know be thankful if great divine is convicting us for one you know because it has a purpose for us and it's trying to show us something that's why i say don't miss those divine red flags so that's why it convicts us because it has a purpose for us it's something down the road because something i say a thousand times we in this human body we don't know what's coming down the road but that great divine always knows so that's why it convicts us that's why little weird things happen in nature that's why we see synchronicities you know because the great divine it moves in strategic ways you know it doesn't move that being that force doesn't move like a human being doesn't even think it made us so you know it, it knows us it, it's been knowing us since birth it knows everything we're gonna do before we do so that's why it convicts us and shows us signs because it knows you know and I, i've learned that sometimes the hard way in the past you know so that's why we learn from what and get out of that woulda coulda shoulda syndrome so we can breathe you know and you know and be there for our you know family children significant others those in our circle that is growing and learning from us is wonderful whether we have a platform or not because we could be a teacher right in our space where we are right in our families you know it's wonderful you know so that's why that great divine convicts us at least that's my perspective so i pay attention to those things now yeah so because i too go through challenges hey i'll never come off like i'm perfect are you kidding me so again like i said a few minutes ago that denial shit mm -mm, mm -mm. don't be in denial that's our kryptonite that's a general's kryptonite brother or sister when we are in denial no deal with every feeling that we get i don't give a damn what it is break it down you know see why you're getting it get to the core of it so we can get back on this journey and do what uh, and do what so many of us have been called to do whether it's on a platform or not we got to know what that great divine has called us to do it could be something small it could be big it doesn't matter we have to be in that space to pay attention because when we like i told my son lord lamont once we've ironed out i say most of all the human errors the deep spiritual will become that will be undeniable it'd be it'd be undeniable the power we can step into when we just do right man in the deep spiritual 
will come. So that was something that was in my spirit. And, um, and I, I just, uh, you know, I just, man, divine is integrity all day, every day. But, um, getting back to volunteering in the school, I'll, I'll stay at it and, um, keep chipping away, you know, cause again, when you feel that pull brother or sister, anybody that's viewing, you know, you feel that pull something you can't explain we're talking about a righteous feeling you know go with it you know see what it is go deeper into it again i bring this up every now and then probably every other podcast you see things in your dream study it it's trying to lead you somewhere you have a word pop in your brain look it up look up words you know research you know go deeper into thyself it's wonderful when one knows thyself as i heard from a great brother so I, I want to read a page from my book, Unlocking the Vote. And um, like I said, I write these pages at my son's school, my desk. I'm a hall monitor. And again, as I always say, I speak to the kids that are not supposed to be in the hallway without a pass. And, um, you know, so I sit at my desk in the hallway and that's where I do my writing. You know, that's kind of like my meditation time. I've spoke on it before. And I want to read a page I wrote yesterday in a uh, salute to all those who write and take this journey serious i salute you because i know it can be very very challenging and that's to my content creators brothers and sisters in the world or online and one's family you know salute to hope to those who are staying with it and fierce on this divine walk all right here we go let's read this page that i wrote uh ebx cares one's thoughts unlocking the vault and this is page 42 all right we should be adding to life and to others not taking learn each other's strengths and weaknesses and then we can begin building ourselves nothing is more powerful than the human spirit man when we are at its highest peak and awareness man of our lives man when we are at the top peak with that heightened awareness man but it, it takes work for some of us some of us some get there sooner some get there later it's wonderful we know what we know because we'll start opening up the floodgates of that divine abundance and it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when because what we put out you fill in the rest the moment we lose ourselves in in divine integrity the great divine will connect with us then and only would that great divine uh connect with us when we have righteous integrity deep in that core not just on the surface in the core because it will come up that's when our integrity will show and that great divine will convict us as i said but if we are clouded with wrong faults evil intentions negative ways we will never ever see or know the glory of that great divine and don't then don't get it twisted great divine will convict us when we when we let when we let me see great divine will convict us excuse me when that force has a plan for us real talk or a purpose it will convict us because that force is not nothing soft it's very powerful as well as mother nature and that universe and why is that because it can be everywhere at once that's what some some uh entities don't realize and and and, the, and as i said mother nature and that great divine is the author of patience and time so you can't you can outrun you can't outrun or maneuver that positive force you're a fool if you think you can that's that's just a side note that ain't even what i wrote all right it will convict us when, we, when it has a purpose for us not punish because we punish ourselves man all day every day when we do wrong and as i heard from a great brother we bring a judgment upon ourselves and that's brother quake who actually I, i've heard that from when we're doing wrong and have evil intent, we bring judgment upon ourselves. Great divine doesn't punish. We punish ourselves. Real talk. So, yep, and that was the end of them. I want to read that part again. Because cause we, let me see, when that force have a plan for us, have a purpose for us, it will convict us. But it doesn't punish us. Because when we're doing wrong, we punish ourselves. When we're doing wrong, as I heard from a great brother, like I said, Brother Kwaku, when we commit evil acts, we then bring judgment upon oneself. So do right, you know, and that that put out what we get back. It's more than just saying it. I've lived it. Like I said, some of your most wise, wise most wisest, most wise brothers and sisters, whether in the world, online, have come from doing, have learned, you know, and 
That's what develop a strong brother or sister, teacher or not, just a strong brother or uh, uh, sister to have man. Full on righteous, divine integrity. It's wonderful. And it's the gift that keeps on giving when we have integrity. Deep in that core, you know, like I said, I have challenges and battles one go through, go through two. So that's why it's good to do what I'm doing. Like I said, read, you know, invest in our family. As I said in a, a podcast I did a few days ago, do what we love, love what we do righteously. And man, just enjoy that righteous impact. Just enjoy the righteous comeback because it will come back, whether it's through a synchronicity, through something we see in ourselves, something we see in a brother and sister. We may have reached out and helped, you know, along this journey, whether it's a positive word online or in life physically, like me volunteering, you know, um, the nice connections I'm making with the faculty. I know the principal and the teachers. It's wonderful, man. It's just wonderful when we get involved and we're not looking to get nothing. You know, we give, we give, and we're not just taking, you know, and a salute to all the great teachers I have learned from, whether in my family or in the world online. I bring this up every now and then. The great teachers, content creators, I have gotten advice from. They have helped me, kind of helped me get out the mud. You know, it's probably about 10 years back, man, maybe a little over 10 years, you know. Sometimes we just don't, sometimes we're just not aware of the things we do. But when we are aware, that's when we, get, when we are finally aware and we are healthy, mind, body, and soul, and nothing's wrong with us, that, and we went through the layers, you know, great divine, that's when we should, that's when we will be, have to hold, that's when we, great divine, excuse me, that's when great divine will hold us account, accountable. We finally are aware when there's no more excuses real talk because it gets to a point where there's no more excuses so that's just some encouraging words i want to give and uh thank those for coming in to another edition of ebx discussion i meant to say that at the beginning i was just so excited and you know when you haven't spoken in a while you get a little excited a lot of things a lot of downloads come into one's body and that's brother sister family member in the world or online anybody can have divine gifts and or abilities you know it's just a matter of it of investing in one's good qualities real talk so keep investing my brothers and sisters into your or into our divine self because man divine is integrity all day every day and that's what led me to volunteering as i said and i'll keep on volunteering and i keep those posted on you know the children and uh and you know just, just different things that I encounter and experience in my son's school. Again, salute to the children that I have met. And again, I'm learning uh, some of their names and it's wonderful, you know, and they got some unique names, you know, a lot of unique names, you know, and uh, <clears throat> I'm very proud of my son, Ethan, my nine year old. And I'm proud of uh, my son, Lord Lamont. And it was kind of divine when I was leaving uh, my son's school from volunteering and I see my son he was like, wow. That was meant to happen. He was just, you know, standing out there talking to some friends. And that's wonderful. I said, I told my son, Lord Lamont, man, you like Tupac. You get around. He'd be all over Milwaukee. And he moved up here, hmm, I don't know how, how many years ago, but it's been a few years ago, maybe a little over five years. And things were a little shaky when he first moved up here as far as, you know, him adjusting himself to living here and he and I adjusting ourselves to getting ourselves, our relationship back. Because I said, uh, my son and I, we went a long, my son, Lord Lamont, went a long time without seeing each other. I hadn't seen him since he was like a little boy. So we had to like, you know, rekindle, you know, our father and son relationship. You know, I had to go through a little, little bumps, but we, we back on course now. And I'm proud of him. He's doing good. And I'm encouraging him. He encourages me. I learn from him. He learns from me as well as my son and, and the rest of my children, God children, biological children. That's what it's all about. We can learn from the youth, too. So be thankful for young brothers and sisters that are aware out there and on fire. Let's lift them up and tell them that we are proud of them. Again, I'm proud of my children, my God children, my biological children. Because you know what? They're going to be all right, as well as my family, brothers and sisters in the world and online. We're going to be all right, y'all. When we connect it to that divine force deep within, man, we'll never lose that integrity. Real talk. So that was my positive thought and um just stay encouraged out there current subscriber new subscriber my leaders and teachers always keep that student spirit so we can always shine in the future so brothers and sisters family 
man, brothers and sisters in the world and online, and my family, my children, their mothers, man, those who listen and chime in, those who just, man, just trying to live a good life. You know what I mean? But we all have the ultimate peace in your part of the world, wherever you are right now. Salute!